Hello, everyone. Uh, although this is NCRU number 18, it's actually number one for me, so it's personally very exciting. Uh, Todd told me beforehand that all speakers get paid by the word, so we have an agreement that we're going to try to hit 5,000 collectively, so <laughs> most, most of which are going to be done on his part. So anyway, City of Martinez adopted its Climate Action Plan in 2009, and of course, a component of any good climate action plan is public education and outreach. We'd been doing composting classes and a variety of informational workshops, but we wanted to try to come up with something that had a little bit more widespread application. So we enlisted Todd, AKA the Waste Sleuth, to create and develop a course about sustainable practices for everyday life, uh, with the goal of coming up with a course that would apply to everyone and appeal to anyone that cares about the environment. So after several months of coordination, a new workshop called Sustainable Citizen was ready to roll out in June of 2012. We've taught three classes thus far, have another one coming up on May 4th of this year, and we hope that other agencies and organizations take advantage of what we feel is a terrific opportunity to educate people on just how easy it is to become a sustainable citizen. So with that, I'll turn it over to Todd. First, I'd like to say again to Michael Chandler, thank you for for having the idea of the Sustainable Citizen Workshop. It wasn't labeled that at the time, but all credit goes to Michael and his, his brainchild here. So let's get going here. All right, so as we said, Sustainable Citizen, to be sustainable, the planet needs sustainable citizens. So obviously we've said that a few times, we're really not trying to get 5,000 words in here, but uh, in the beginning there are hands. No, no, in the beginning there were, was a planet, <laughs> okay, and then all of a sudden Adam and Eve got real busy and there was seven, our seven billion of us, all right, as a result, we have fun traffic jams, lots of pollution, and then the state of California said we need to deal with this pollution issue and this AB 32 is focused on CO2 emissions. A lot of you know about this, some of you don't. You can see the goal here is to go back to 1990 levels in about six or seven years here. So AB 32 is the, the, the driver here. Communities, many of you in this room have them, these huge climate action plans. And in every one of these climate action plans is a section in there to talk to the public, talk to the citizens, outreach, and say, conserve energy, lower your CO2 emissions. And so that's, what, that's what's going on here. So we've got communities wondering what to do, and maybe they should call the way sleuth. And what we'll do here is we'll do sustainable citizen workshops. And the, the workshop is based on some common sense things. And we've heard earlier some of these statistics about aluminum not being recycled, certain basic common sense things that just still today aren't being recycled. So we're focusing in on these things. We believe that most everybody wants to do more. They're not quite sure what that is. And so this program is designed to give people kind of the meat and, and numbers as to what they can do. We'll give them the what, why, and how. Not just recycle your aluminum can and it keeps the lights on for you know the day or whatever, but why this is important. So we give them the tools tools, we don't just tell them, we give them examples of how this works, and we repeat that over and over again. So one of the things that we believe in is bribery, just like this morning there's like coffee and donuts, you know, you know scones, but we believe that to get people there, sometimes you need to entice them with a gift. So we, we come up with this idea of the kit. And what this is, is most communities have giveaways, bag giveaways, and most communities have relationships with PG&E and their transportation organizations. So what we do is we put a lot of these common sense things in there, CFLs, reusable bag, of course, maybe some propaganda from the local regency, regional agencies, rather, um, maybe a low flow gizmo for your faucet, et cetera. Those sorts of basic ideas are put in this kit to get people to come to the workshop. The workshop, again, it goes through the basic, explains what CO2 reductions are all about, why this is important, and then we believe we need to show them some benefits. So I, I walk through and I, I show them the dollar and, and penny savings. Really, uh, hundreds of dollars are possible, particularly if your uh, home or household or business is heavy into electric. There's a lot of opportunities in terms of saving money. So we, we walk everybody through this. We tell them that they're part of the solution. I, it's my feeling that a lot of people don't believe that they make a difference. And so we spend a lot of time saying these little tiny actions, little ones, add up to making a big difference. So, uh, and, and you'll sleep better at night by doing this too. So we've got what I call sustainable in 10. 
come up with 10 easy to do sustainable actions that don't require you to own a Prius or put 10,000 or $30,000 worth of you know, UV things on your roof, but simple things that anybody can do right now that make a difference that, difference that all adds up. Then we repeat the, how these 10 actions work in terms of examples at home, in, in the yard, in shopping while you're on the road, et cetera. And then at the end, we ask everybody to take a pledge. And we actually, like, we go through this, and it's kind of like, you know, I pledge of allegiance. Well, I pledge to be a sustainable citizen, and I will do what I can whenever I can. And so this is really kind of a compelling thing. At the end, we give everybody a sustainable citizen card, just like the Mickey Mouse Club, but only better. Okay, so everybody gets their sustainable. And on the back are the 10 action steps so they can talk about this with their friends and family about what they've done and what they can do and what they are doing in terms of these sustainable things. Who's the target? Michael already suggested some ideas. Cities, of course, sanitary districts, haulers, businesses, community groups, chambers, uh, just about any anybody. Maybe these folks, huh? All right, so there's only one of these. Sustainable citizens important. So I just thought I'd 